what is going on guys it's Sook and I am back with a brand new video on Super Duper Tech and in today's video I'll be comparing the benchmarks between the 2017 iPad the iPad Air 2 as well as the 9.7 inch iPad Pro so without any further ado let's hit the titles Now in typical fashion, the first test that I did conduct was a Geekbench 4 CPU test. And as you can see, the results shown in the graph do indicate that there is a slight improvement on the single core side of things when comparing the new 2017 iPad to its predecessor, the iPad Air 2. But neither the 2017 iPad or the iPad Air 2 can match the iPad Pro. The next set of benchmarks that I did run were directly from GFX Bench, which were designed to test the OpenGL graphical performance on all of these iPads. And for GFX Bench, you do get two results for the higher and lower level graphical intensive tasks. Now with this test, we did see that there was a performance gain on both the higher and lower level graphical intensive tasks when compared to the predecessor, the iPad Air 2. But once again, it does not get anywhere close to the performance seen on the iPad Pro. The next test that I did conduct was once again from GFX Bench, which was designed to test the metal aspects when rendering out graphics. And much like we've seen with the previous two tests, the 2017 iPad once again does improve on its graphical performance when compared to the iPad Air 2. Now I'm sure you guys are aware of patterns starting to develop that the iPad Pro is once again victorious in all aspects. Now while I've been using the iPad Pro for some time, I have noticed that when I was using the 2007 iPad that the download rates did seem to drop quite a bit. Now of course this could be down to my network, therefore I did go ahead and use the speed test application and tested these iPads at equal distance away from my router. And as you can see, while the upload speeds did remain pretty constant between the three of these iPads, there was a considerable drop in the download speeds on the new 2007 iPad. The next benchmark that I did run was 3D Mark Slingshot. Now, as you can see by the graph, the results do show a slight improvement in the 2017 iPad when compared to its predecessor, the iPad Air 2. But once again, the iPad Pro does remain supreme. Another test that I did run, which did display similar benchmarking results, was the Antutu benchmark application. And as you can see, the 2017 iPad does show slight improvements over the predecessor, the iPad Air 2, but once again, it cannot touch the iPad Pro. The next test that I did run was a full HD and 4K export on iMovie. Now, as the results will indicate, the 2017 iPad was the slowest at exporting full HD content, but it was actually the fastest while exporting 4K. Now, if you guys are unsure with the results that you have seen in this video, I will leave an unlisted link down below in the description so you can go and check the video footage of all of these tests. Now, if you guys have enjoyed today's video, then do please leave it with a big fat thumbs up. And if you are new around here, then why not subscribe? Also, if you do want to see what videos I am working on next, then go ahead and follow me on my social media. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.